Wellman. I'm an instructor at the Bernardo Free Academy. Today we're going to go over some cross collar chokes from the clothes guard, some variations on the choke really. I'll show you the traditional grips and then I'll show you some variations that'll help you finish. All right guys, we're going to break down three really quick ways to do the cross collar choke. It's one basic choke. I'm just going to show you some short grips. I find this is really essential for basics or for fundamentals as you're learning the cross collar. So we're going to start from the clothes guard. And I'll start from this kind of this angle here because I want to show the idea of where I'm getting here. Again, my partner might have grips, they might be fighting, but we're not going to focus on that today. We're going to focus on the basic mechanics. We can add in the extra stuff later. One of the things I like to do, if I'm going to go for a cross collar grip, I want to open up this side here. If his gi is really tight, sometimes this is hard because on most players, in fact, all players, this is the inside part of their gi. It's hard to get to. But during the course of some rolling, I might open up a little bit here and now I find some space. I can hang on him here. My hand comes, thumb up, and I don't just reach. I want to pull down a little bit. So even if my partner gives me a little resistance, look, I can get here. Now I have two on one. I also use my legs and I want to pull him down just a little bit. If he's fighting with grips here, I'm not going to get him all the way to me. Okay, let's recognize that I'm getting to about here. What I want to think of is where his carotid is and at the back of my hand, is going against that. So as it turns, it looks like I'm stabbing him in the neck, right on that artery, okay? One more time up here, I open up the same side, I use my legs and this hand to pull him to me, and I slide my hand, thumb up to about here. I've got a good, strong grip. I'll use my legs sometimes and keep him the rest of the way. Now, we're gonna turn our posture, or excuse me, turn our angle a little bit. I wanna get to the far side. The way the cross collar choke from closed guard is traditionally taught, is this hand is going to come underneath. I find underneath, and look, I'm digging until I get to almost the same position on the opposite side. Now I've got good control here, and I rotate not just the hands, but I pull them in, and I'll rotate here to get the, the tap. So let's go over that real quick, but we're doing a variance on it today. So I get here, that's my first strong grip. I use my legs, not just my hand. If I try to pull down and my partner resists, look, this is hard. But I'll use both my hands and my legs. I don't need them broken all the way down, just enough to get here. I can come underneath, I find here, pull them all the way, and now I'm rotating my hands. So they started like this and I'm rotating them in, stabbing them in the neck. There are several ways to do this. This is just a way. As I get here, down, and my elbows flare, okay? The problem is he's gonna start defending with his hands. This is where the traditional style, when I get here, this hand starts going under, right? Look, he's starting to, I can't get to that collar. So what I want to do instead for this video is I'm going to push him this way, turn him here. What I want to think about is what's called like a big wave kind of movement, where I wave over. So as long as I keep him here, I'm going to wave over his head and put my arm here. My elbow should almost be even with his neck. Now I can pull my arm back. Look, I'm going to pull my arm down until I find some fabric here. And what I want to do is think about my forearm being right along his neck. So I pull back. I find some fabric. Now I pull him back to center line and finish. This comes on a lot faster. Okay, it's a lot more painful. But I said there are three ways to do this. The first grip, I'm pulling from the elbow at the neck and find some fabric here. The second, I'm going to keep going, find some fabric here. The third, I'll actually get to the collar. So one, two, three. The movement is set up is exactly the same, but if I'm not completing the first one, I get it tighter. If I don't get the second one, I'll definitely finish on the third. This is what I mean. I get my grip right on the karate. I pull him this way. If he's even posturing a little bit, right, I use my knees to turn him. Big wave over the head so that he can't block it. As I'm here, I drive my elbow back along the neck. There's my first one, and I pull everything in tight. There's my first tap. I can't get it, or maybe I lose the angle. There's my second one right on the neck. There's my second. He starts posturing up. I find this grip right on the collar. Now I use my legs back in and finish with my third one. So let's do a different angle. What I like about this is sometimes my partner will work with me, like if I'm uh, in a free roll. If I get him all the way down and he stays really low, stays heavy on me like this, I can't get my hand to his neck. I just need to get a little bit here and get on the forearm. If he starts posturing up, sometimes I lose position, right? And I'm going from here. My goal is to use some part of my forearm or my hand for my second point. So one more time. I open up, I reach, get deep. I use my arms and my legs 
and turn them off angle. I reach over the head, my elbow comes in here and I slide along the neck. It's not a fun feeling for the, uh, the top player. As I'm here, now I pull him back and finish. If he starts pushing away, look at his left hand right here, starts pushing away on my chest, right? Yeah, I get a different grip and I can still finish from here. Even posture all the way up, even from here, still finish. Because now my forearm starts coming under the jaw. Let's try it from one last angle, just so you can see that grip. Good. I open from here, reach deep. Remember, I want to push him this way. I use my knee, my right knee. Look, I'm pushing him here, pulling him. Big reach. My elbow should be even with his ear. I come down here, and I grip right behind the shoulder. Elbows in tight. First one. He starts pulling away from me. I get my second one. If he gets all the way, I can get my far collar. Or if he starts fighting, look, I can now come back underneath and finish the traditional style. So just something to think about.